European stock markets are trading lower at the moment. The UK's FTSE 100 index is down about 30 points, while the Euro stocks 50 index is also lower, off around about 19 points. Uh, in the currency space, the Euro is um, holding its ground against the dollar, it is around about 130, while in the peripheral bond market, Spanish and Italian bond yields are actually doing pretty much nothing. Very calm and stable at the moment. Um, and uh, we've got um, a bunch of uh, data coming out from the US later on, uh, so investors are keeping their eye on that. Good morning, I'm Mishak Siddiqui. It's Friday, uh, the best day of the week, as we all know. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what's going on in stock markets today. Uh, so overnight we had a, um, we actually had like pretty decent sessions in, uh, in uh, the US and uh, when it came to Asia, the Bank of Japan um, kept uh, rates and policies on hold. Um, which is in line with, with expectations um, and it fed into the European session. That was the first thing that we were looking at. Uh, we had, um, uh, yesterday we had UK GDP data, which is actually much better than expected. And now we're looking ahead to the US first quarter GDP figure. Um, expectations are for growth around about 3.2%, uh, which is actually very strong. Um, however, people aren't too optimistic uh, despite the fact that the, 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 the estimates are, are that strong and that's mainly for the reason that we have these sequester spending cuts uh, which are quicked in and uh, we've also had a batch of poor US data, uh, particularly the non-farm payrolls report for last month. Uh, which was much weaker than expected. Um, so that number's going to be eyed later on today, uh, especially because uh, the Fed uh, has been talking about tempering the pace of QE. Uh, so if we get a, a weak number, uh, if it falls uh, short of expectations, we're likely to see that talk come back into the market uh, and, 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 and then the, the likelihood that the Fed may uh, keep their pedal on, the, on, on stimulus measures um, going ahead. Um, other than that, it's uh, pretty quiet in Europe. Um, it's, it is Friday, it's the last trading day of the week. Uh, the Bundesbank has criticized uh, the European Central Bank in the way it's managed the European debt crisis. Uh, that's uh, quite an interesting news piece, uh, given the fact that uh, the Bundesbank, well, they have been harsh critics of, uh, of uh, policies uh, geared towards a more lenient um, Eurozone uh, where peripheral nations uh, can, can, can get bailed out um, at, 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 at a rate where um, German taxpayers will have to put uh, more money up front for it. <coughs> so it's not that big of a surprise, but it, what is a surprise is that it, it, the ECB now has, um, well, is under scrutiny by, um, by, by, by the Bundesbank, which, is, which makes up a big proportion of uh, the ECB, uh, ECB's overall policy framework. Uh, so that's a pretty interesting news piece and one that uh, investors are keeping their eye on. Um, later on today, after the US GDP data, we have a uh, University of Michigan confidence report, which will also be keenly awaited. Um, other than that, uh, we have a Facebook competition running uh, for our Trading Places blog. Um, you can guess Joe's P&L, cast a prediction and get your hands on an iPad uh, if you win. So that's going to be closing later on today, so keep your eyes on that and uh, check our Facebook page for more. Thanks for watching.